Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in this particular video, we are going to discuss about what is Google AdSense and how you can make money by having or approving your site with Google AdSense. This video is not all about understanding what is Google AdSense, but more about how to get approval from Google AdSense and how to display ads on your WordPress blog step by step. So everything, whatever you need to know about Google AdSense, starting from how to apply till how to place ads on your website will be all covered in this particular video. So if you are new to this channel and looking for such passive income ideas and certain tips on how you can make money by sitting in your home then do subscribe this channel because this channel will publish more and more video based on your comment which you will be providing so guys if you are excited i am excited so without wasting time let's go to screen and start with google adsense and almost all things so here we are on the screen first of all guys if you are really interested in learning blogging how to do blogging almost all the areas then come to bloggingvoice.com the link will be given in description provide your name email id and enroll for nine day free training yes for nine days you will be trained in a blogging without paying any single penny so if you are really interested go and enroll for that so now let's go and talk about what is google adsense so when you will go to google and type about google adsense so in that case guys what happened is you will come to know a portal with the name of google adsense there you can see make the most of your money so what is this okay so what is google adsense google adsense is an advertising platform of a google like you who are you if you are owning a blog if you are running your youtube channel so who are you basically you are a content creator or in other words i would say you are a publisher but there are different companies in the market they wanted to advertise their product on various uh, blogs or on various youtube channels so there is a combination of one is advertiser and second one is a publisher so you are here as a publisher and the advertiser are the companies who wanted to display their ads on the publisher content so google adsense is a middleman basically it is bringing all the advertiser and publisher at common place so google adsense review all the websites and giving them approval like okay your website is eligible for ad display and whatever the ad coming from advertiser advertiser will pay money to google adsense and now google adsense will start displaying their ads on all the publishers so in that results google adsense will charge to advertiser couple of bucks based on the competition and whatever money it is charging over there actually some part of revenue will be shared with publishers on which particular blog or their youtube channels the particular ad will start displaying so that is the model of a google adsense and one of the most trusted model and if you will start making money from google adsense then obviously you will keep getting more and more earning so now if you wanted to see how it will look like when your blog uh, will get approved with google adsense so i will take an example of one of my blog website mrvsidea.com if you will go to this particular blog and open any sort of uh, post let imagine this post i have opened here now in this post if you will see guys this is an ad which is actually coming from google adsense there you can see this is an ad which is coming from google adsense this is an ad which is coming from google adsense so all this this wix and all this different different companies are paying money to google adsense my website is approved by google adsense and that's why google adsense is displaying their ads on my website now if somebody will come to this like you reader and they will click to any of the links i will get money and that is called cost per click so for every single click google adsense will charge to advertisers some amount of money and if somebody will click to this that means you will get around 60 to 70 percent share of that particular earning the another income you can generate from google adsense is only for impressions let imagine nobody uh, has clicked any sort of ad on your website but still this ad got some impression this ad got some impression this ad got some impression so even you will get some part of money so in summary i would say whenever any sort of ad will display on your website and will get any sort of impression you will get money the second case is if someone will click to any sort of ad then even you will get some sort of money so guys this is called google adsense and how google adsense pay money to everyone so here the simple rule is if you will be able to drive lots and lots of traffic to your website then ultimately you will make more and more and more money on an average if i would say if there you will get a thousand impressions of their thousand impressions of the ad and around thousand visitors visited to your website then on an average you can make around six to ten dollars based on the country from where you are getting traffic if the traffic is from us or uk or australia you will get more money if the traffic is from asian countries such as bangladesh nepal or india you will get less money so this is how the model of google adsense works and i'm hope uh, now you are clear with that now the best part is guys how you can get approval from google adsense which is the second most important thing you have to learn it in that case guys you must i will go back to this particular blog and will give you an example 
all my blogs are approved with Google Adsense so I can give you confidently the idea, the basic thing which you must remember. So first of all guys, make sure you have a custom domain. The domain such as bloggingvoice.com, xyz.com, xyz.in, .co.uk. So you can have either any .com, .in kind of uh, domain or you can have any sort of country specific domain like .co.uk, .com or .us, .au. So make sure you have a custom domain that will increase your chances of approval. So first thing, make sure your site has a custom domain. The second most important thing is guys, make sure your site has all these pages about us, contact us, privacy policy and if possible disclaimer as well. But make sure these three pages should be there. One is about page, contact page and privacy policy. Because when you will send your website for approval, how to send for approval, I will tell you how you can do that. But here the important thing is guys, first you must have all these pages on your website. If you will open the privacy policy page, you will see there a couple of ideas, couple of things what needs to be there, like you have to specify that whatever the user are visiting, there could be an ad, there could be some affiliate network, I will display advertisement. So in that way, your privacy policy should tell people what exactly your site is all about. And about should be there and contact us page should be there. So these three pages should be there on your website. The next uh, most important thing is guys, make sure your website should have at least eight to 10 posts. Yes, at least eight to 10 posts with a minimum average word length of more than thousand words. So this seems your website look like as a legit. The another criteria which you need to care about is guys, make sure you don't have any copyright content or any scrappy content which you have copied from some there, somewhere and pasting on your website. So at least write your initial eight to 10 articles, totally unique, totally unique. So if you have that article totally unique, if you have all the pages, if you have a custom domain and the site layout is good and the most important thing is if your website is hosted on WordPress, then make sure the performance, the loading performance of the hosting should be very high. And if you wanted to know which hosting you have to buy, my preference would be either go with SiteGround or A2 Hosting or Bluehost. The link of all the three will be provided in the description. Go go and buy those three hostings and then after host your site on that particular hosting account only. So your website loading speed should not be more than three to four seconds. If it is more than that, obviously you will not get approval because what Google Adsense want, Google Adsense want a genuine website, a legit website, which can really promote the advertiser's product, right? It is not, uh, Adsense doesn't want it to you know, promote the product on a scrappy website. So make sure all these things are well aware. And if this all are set, then you can send your website for Google Adsense approval. I hope you got an idea. Now, the point is how you can get, uh, how you send your website for Google Adsense approval. My site blogging OS is already approved. So I will tell you how you can place ads on this website but at this moment if you're totally beginner i'm going to give you an idea how you can send your website for google adsense approval in that case guys let me go to this and just type here a google adsense okay as you will type google adsense the first link which will be pop up there you have to click to this particular one okay once you will click to this one there will be an option to get started okay that means you have to click here or either here so i'm simply clicking to this particular button as you will click started now it will ask you a couple of details which side you want to go with google adsense so this is a totally fresh account so i will take any dummy domain which site is actually not exist so what i will do is just type here the domain name whatever you want to send so let's imagine this is the domain name then i will provide here my email id let's say this is a example of my email id then no don't send me customized help and performance so make sure you choose it yes so at least they will keep sending you the best way simply click to save and continue as you will click to save and continue it will be routed to next screen and on the next screen it is asking you to accept couple of conditions so you can see this is your domain name and there you have to provide your country name so in that case let's imagine i will provide here a country name as united kingdom if that's perfect then it is asking you to accept the conditions simply click to create account as you will click to create account guys now you will receive an email in your registered email id and on that email id it will say like okay your google adsense account has been created so simply now you have created your adsense account but yet your site is not approved remember yet your not size site is not approved so now what you have to do is guys basically there are three things or two things you have to follow step by step so what i will do is Let's go and give you an idea how you can set up your website with Google Adsense so that you will get an approval. So make sure you have provided all these details, whatever it is asking over there. So let's take an example. Uh, what I will do is let's, uh, I will uh, give us some examples. So just provide your basic account information detail. If you have provided your basic account information detail, that is, which is very much mandatory. Then you can see on the left hand side, guys, 
all the options are yet disabled. That means now what you have to do is Google AdSense is asking you to paste this code with the website, which you just explained. So whatever website you have, first you have to copy, copy this code and place that code to the header tag of your website. That means if your website is in WordPress, now in the WordPress header tag, you have to copy paste this code. So how you can do that? So what I will do is guys, first once you will add your website, this code must make sure you copy this complete code. So I'm copying this code. Then after you have to go to the backend of your WordPress blog and then you have to install a plugin okay so i will go through quickly so at least you will not uh, get disturbed okay so what i will do is let's take an example of my already existing wordpress blog so this is my wordpress blog so what you have to do is guys you have to come to the wordpress admin board and there you have to install a plugin go to add a new plugin and there you have to search a plugin with the name of header footer code manager hfcm once you will install that plugin guys this kind of screen there you can see this kind of uh, uh Thing will be displayed there then you have to click and add new so the plugin name is header footer code manager you can see here the image on the screen so simply come to there and click here and just provide here a name exactly what we are doing is we are not actually uh, doing any changes with the theme backend so what we are doing is we are trying to add the code directly directly using a plugin instead of uh, directly hitting to the code of a theme because if you will do any mistake your site will get disturbed so there you can see you can give it a name of adsense code okay and where exactly the code should be placed site wide and where exactly either in header or footer so we have to paste the code in header adsense code simply come here copy paste that code make sure it is xt and this is your publisher id so i'm hiding this because this is the privacy okay so status must be active and simply click to save as you will click to save guys now you have to come back to google adsense and click to this one and click here done as you will click to done now it will check whether you have pasted your code to that website or not okay and there you can see got it and if it found like your code is pasted on your website that means now your site is gone for adsense approval but do remember the site which i asked here is a moviesutra.com but actually i pasted that code on different site because that site is no more exists but the process will be similar you have to go to the domain backend install the plugin header footer code manager and create a snippet and there you have to give a name site wide header active and paste that code and simply update if you have done that part that means now your account is sent for approval now it is waiting under review you will not receive any email but once you will come back to your adsense account there you can see your site is under review okay now what happens guys now let imagine your account is getting approved so this was the process how you can send your site for approval now the next part is you got approval from google adsense and now you wanted to place an ad there you can see guys i will take an example of this website itself i actually this website is approved with google adsense but i'm not displaying any sort of ad because this site is more about different things but still this site is approved so how it will look like and how you can place ad at particular place i'm going to explain that in next two minutes so all the end-to-end -end session will be completed so now what happens guys let imagine i have sent my website for google adsense then under site earlier there was no option display right because we have used this particular account all these sites are not displayed there but once you will send this one then automatically if you will get an approval then all these particular sites will get display and once you will get an approval this kind of image you can see congratulations your site is getting approved if you have seen that kind of email in your email box that means congratulations finally you got approval from google adsense okay then after this all the options will be enabled and those options will be look like this you can see all the options are enabled and under this there you can see guys this is the site which is getting approved and it is ready to display ad but no there is no direct way like your site will be automatically start displaying there the first thing you have to do is you have to generate a code from google adsense paste those codes to the different position of your website and then on those positions the ad will display so what you have to do is you have to come to the ad section okay so there you can see guys there will be an again ad section so that option will be enabled under the ad section you can see guys how you wanted to place the ad so either you can place automatic ad make sure if you will place automatic ad then automatically ad will display otherwise go with buy ad unit and this kind of different ad you can display on your website display ad in feed ad in article ad link ad so what is link ad probably you have seen my previous uh, blog post so this was the link ad where is that so i will show you where exactly you can see here so this is called a link ad okay and this is called a display ad so what sort of ad you wanted to create such kind of ad code you have to come here let imagine i wanted to display some display ad. so i will click to display ad give a name uh display test then after what sort of square horizontal vertical so it will give you different size template so i will use your square one so that i can display my ad to this location which location or i will show you 
so i can add display display my ad into horizontal location after the first paragraph okay so what i will do is let's go there and under there you have to create this horizontal make sure this is responsive and simply click to create as you will click to create again it will create a code now wherever you will paste this code the app will display only that position so what i will do is let's copy code snippet so simply i copy this code now i will go to my wordpress backend and now you have to install another plugin so the name of the plugin is guys you have to go to add new plugin and there the name of the plugin which you have to use is ads inserter yes so you just have to type here ads inserter okay so ads inserter if you will type to this particular thing the first plugin which you can see in the list this plugin you have to install and activate once you have installed and activate then automatically under the setting there will be an option of ads inserter and where you can see here so add inserter so simply click to add inserter there will be number of blocks display so you can see guys this is one of the block which already has some ads ad code is already pasted this is another location where ad is displayed let imagine now i wanted to place the ad at this particular location which location you have the you have some options you wanted to display this ad on all post yes i wanted to display on all post you wanted to display on home page i don't want because i wanted to include the ad in the post itself now where exactly you want before the post before the post before the paragraph after the paragraph so i will say okay after paragraph which paragraph number let's say second paragraph so display the ad after second paragraph of my complete website so now there you can see guys let's go back and there you can see first paragraph is this second paragraph is this so i wanted to display ad over here any article which is published on my website and that is the importance of wordpress using a plugin you can automate or you can place a code at one place and that code will be applied all over the website so now what i'm doing is let's go there and just type it choose this a particular option and simply click to save settings as you will place a save setting that will take next 15 to 30 second to inject this code on website and ideally if the adsense account is newly approved then it will take a 5 to 10 or maybe 15 minute to display that ad at that particular position so now what i have done is i have pasted that code now it is time for me to go back and check whether the ad is coming to that location or not go and check here to this particular location and see whether the ad has been displayed or the position has been created or not and there you can see guys the space has been created and now the adsense ad start coming so this is the ad which is coming from that plugin and this is the end to end process on how you can display it so you can see no ad at any places except this particular location because we have set from here now if you wanted to change the position let imagine you wanted to change after fourth fourth position so what i will do is simply click here and type here as a fourth and then simply save setting now you can see one paragraph second paragraph third and fourth this ad will be placed at after this location and it will be removed from here okay so let's wait and see where the ads is coming so you can see guys earlier the ads was at this location but now the space is created at this location now the ad is shifted so this is called google adsense this is how you can send your site for google adsense approval and that is the way through which you can you need to take care and this is the way through which you can place your ads and i hope i have covered almost everything in this 20 minute video to give you complete end to end idea if you are really interested in learning more about passive incomes then make sure you hit subscribe like and don't forget don't forget to enroll for 9 day free blogging series on my site bloggingoes.com if you are really interested and you like this video guys at least like the uh, video share this as much as possible and make sure keep contributing your comment in the comment box i hope you enjoyed this and keep enjoying with me thank you very much for watching this video